there's beauty in everything There's peace in our heartbreak And there's fire in the rain So if everything means nothing these days, baby Tuesday. Welcome to a day in my life. At first, you guys, I'm not gonna lie, I was gonna make this like a morning, like a going into a work morning vlog, but I woke up at eight, as you guys saw. It's just like actually the earliest I can get up lately ever since I've still been recovering from COVID. But I got out of bed at 8.30, so it is like 8.35 right now, and I need to like get ready for my work day. We're gonna make this a whole day in my life. <laughs> And this is gonna be a work from home day. And oh my God, the thing is I haven't filmed a work from home day in my life in so long, like so, so long. I always just do like a regular day in my life. How about we do a work from home day? Because I have a lot to do. I'm literally still stuck at home because I am recovering from COVID. So I think I need to test at some point today, but I'm on day six, so I hope I can test negative. I really like don't wanna leave my apartment until I test negative, even though I'm on day six. Technically, I'm allowed to leave my house as of yesterday, but at least just wanna test negative so that like, I know I can be around people and not spread like a positive person like me. I'm just so thankful that I feel so much better and like back to normal physically, even if I don't show a negative test. At least I can have like a productive work day and that can be as good as it can be. I'm going to finish getting ready really quickly and then I'm going to log on because I don't have much time anymore. It's almost nine o'clock, but I need to show you guys my new coffee too because I just I have lots of updates. So we're gonna make this day in my life a little bit chatty, but giving you the work content, of course. If you guys are new here, I am a corporate strategist. I work internally at a CPA firm. So this is actually my second position at this company. I used to be external facing. I used to work in consulting, kind of like a typical job that you would know in consulting. But now I work internally at that same firm. So I'm no longer working with external clients. I'm working with other partners and other leaders inside my professional services firm. So I have a lot to do today. I have some stuff that I need to get out the door and I just need to have a productive day. I'm still trying to catch up still from being out sick last week and I need to have a lot of stuff done this week so that I can go to New York this weekend, hopefully. So let's just finish getting ready. At this point, I'm like done. I'm like keeping it very simple today. I'm just doing my typical CR moisturizer. Let's go log on, get situated, and then I'm gonna show you guys the coffee that I've been making. Oh my god, it's so good. Okay, jewelry's on, contacts are in today. Let's have a productive day. It is like 10.30 now and oh, I need to put on my watch. I haven't put on my watch since like Wednesday when I got sick, hold on. Okay, like I was saying though, it is 10.30 now. I just got off my daily stand-up call. It's at 10 a.m. Eastern because it's at 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, I think, Mountain? No, Central. It's 10.30 now, I'm gonna make my coffee and I'm making a bagel thin. It's about to be done, it's done. I, you guys need to tell you about this coffee because I drink coffee creamer now, which is literally crazy to say, but as I was recovering from COVID, I like the thought of black coffee just like disgusts me right now. I don't know if my like taste buds changed. I never even lost my taste to begin with, but I didn't even drink coffee for like five days because I didn't need it because I was sleeping so much when I was sick. 
but now I'm like, I want creamer in my coffee. And so you guys, I got this brown sugar oat milk based creamer, which is also surprising because I don't even like oat milk. I hate it. I actually hate oat milk. I think it tastes like wood and I just don't think it tastes good, but an oat milk based creamer is different. And so what I'm going to do is show you guys how I make my coffee right now because I did this last like two days and it's so good. It's good iced, it's good hot. We're gonna make it hot because it's morning and I used to do that. What I do is I shake up creamer. If you guys like brown sugar, like oatmeal, like I loved the brown sugar cinnamon oatmeal growing up. This is like literally just as good, but in coffee form. So I usually just do two tablespoons and you don't have to measure it out. I just like to measure it out because I can go overboard pretty quickly. And then if my coffee is too sweet, I just like won't, I just won't have it. Okay, and then I'm gonna heat up this creamer for like 30 seconds. We just put it in the coffee and then just like a pinch of sugar. This is the sugar that I have. It's the organic cane sugar from Trader Joe's. I literally just do like a pinch, but ow, it's hot. It's always hot because I put it in glass, but we're going to froth the creamer. And since it's oat milk based and it's an actual creamer, so there's like some fat in it, it'll actually froth well. Oh my God, it smells like brown sugar cinnamon oatmeal. I love that stuff. See how frothy it's getting? So I'll just do this for a little bit until it's like frothy enough. And then I'll pour it in my coffee with like a pinch of cane sugar. And it is the perfect amount of sweetness. It's not too sweet at all. Like I said, I like used to only drink black coffee, but lately I just really like this. It's like a whole vibe, what I'm doing. Sugar, and I'm literally just gonna do like a small pinch like that. That's all I'm doing. We're going to pour the creamer in. Like, look at how frothy it got. Do you see that? And then we just mix it. And then this is our morning coffee. And then if I'm really feeling extra, here's what I'll do. I got this pumpkin spice from Safeway and if I'm gonna feel a little extra. My God, am I making like a fall coffee? Like, wow. That is immaculate, I think. Oh my God, this is so unlike me, but I'm telling you guys, this just tastes so good. It tastes so freaking good. Mix it up. Then we have a frothy, delicious brown sugar pumpkin spice coffee. Cheers, happy coffee. <laughs> it's so good, you guys. Like, so good. And then here's my bagel thin. I, to be honest, like, I don't even usually put it on a plate because I clean these counters every night and this will be gone in like 30 seconds. So usually just put like cream cheese on it eat it in like 30 seconds and then that's my breakfast yeah okay well that's my breakfast this morning very chatty i usually just make the coffee like a nice like aesthetic moment but i needed to talk through this coffee journey that i'm on adding brown sugar oat milk based creamer into my life it's kind of amazing i posted the creamer on instagram too yesterday and a lot of you guys were saying that this is like your favorite too but a lot of you were saying that you like the like pumpkin spice and the vanilla don't think i would hate those i just think that the brown sugar is like that's for me because i'm not kidding you guys my dad used to bring home those quaker brown sugar oatmeals from work and stuff and then like my sorority house in college used to have them so i would just always have them growing up in different parts of my life so Brown sugar is just my thing, I think. But, okay, well, that's my breakfast with my pumpkin spice brown sugar coffee. And I'm gonna go back to work now. I will see you guys at lunchtime. This is just a work from home day in my life. My meetings actually all like kind of got canceled or moved today. So that's really good because I really need to get a lot of work done. I'll talk to you more about my work and like my job and just the nature of everything that I do to the best of my ability during lunch. How's that? So. I'll see you guys afterwards, but I'm just glad that like I'm feeling better. Okay, you guys, I'm actually really sorry. I totally forgot to film my breakfast, but, or not my breakfast, now it's lunchtime, but you guys know I love breakfast for lunch. 
and I had one tortilla left, so I made a little breakfast burrito type situation. Well, it's just basically one big taco, two chicken sausage, two eggs, and a piece of provolone with some hot honey on top, some everything bagel seasoning, and this tortilla. So cheers, very protein packed and just like delicious. I'm so glad I have like a good appetite when I had COVID. I never really lost my appetite. It was just two days where I was like sleeping the whole time. So I didn't really eat much, but ever since I've been awake, I kind of always have an appetite, which is good. I've been having a very productive morning. I'm having lunch a little earlier. Sometimes I try to wait until like 1230 or one just because that's like a true midday break. But I was at a good stopping point this morning and I just wanted to take a break now. And so I feel like that brings me to going into a little bit more detail about my job. I've told you guys about my job before. I work in internal strategy at a CPA firm. And um, one of you had actually commented that like, it's actually really insightful to know that for people working in professional service firms, you're not always external facing. So I started off external facing and now I'm internal facing. And I think I like that more. I think personally, the difference between being an external facing consultant versus an internal facing like i'm almost like an internal consultant now the stakes are just a little bit lower and i feel like i have a better grip of like my time management because i'm not at the will of like this external client when you're working for a company that you really care for that's really important if you are going to be internal because you're going to basically go by the firm's company policies and everything so Basically what I do is market research and market intelligence. My team is called Growth Intelligence, if you guys don't know. And market intelligence is basically just doing a bunch of market research and knowing how to make strategic decisions for your stakeholders. So it's a lot of like big data thinking, strategic decision making, market research, tell storytelling is really important because usually my end product at work for each project at least ends with a report. So that's when I kind of synthesize everything that I've researched, everything that I've been able to analyze and put together and form either a recommendation or an opinion or something based on the market. And when I say the market, I mean whatever market my stakeholder is interested in. So it could be in professional services, at least higher education, risk advisory, government compliance, audit. So stuff like that. Honestly, I think it's a really good experience that I started off my job doing consulting and like being external facing. I learned so much so quickly and it is more intense of an environment, which I feel like was good because it like made me strong in my job. If I had to choose between one, I would still choose to be an internal facing person just because I think it's like less stressful on me, but that's just me. I'd love to know what you guys are in. Are you external facing or internal facing? If it even applies to you and do you like that more? I'm gonna turn the camera off, finish my lunch, and then I'm gonna go back to work. I'll talk to you guys probably at some afternoon break, maybe like afternoon coffee or something, but I need to just like stay productive today. And it's a very quiet day. Thomas is out like all day because he's in class. So it's just me here and it's just us in this breakfast burrito. I guess now it's a burrito. You would be mad at the fact that I never eat breakfast. Six to the tropical sun just to have yours and every time that it snows i remember the day we made french onion soup i was in a good mood and you thought it was so peculiar about to make my famous protein yogurt bowl this is like the best snack or late night dessert breakfast like 
meal even if you want to make it huge this is everything that you need and even though i've made this with you guys before this is just my favorite thing ever so in case you missed it i'm going to put all of the ingredients on the screen and you guys can see how i make it these are new bowls though this is a gift from my friend jess if you guys don't follow her on youtube and instagram you should because she has a lot of really great vlogs really good nursing content she got me this like matching set this is supposed to be for fruit but now thomas and i are just putting like our keys and stuff in here but she got me these bowls for my yogurt. It's so pretty. So thank you, Jess. Okay, let me show you guys this yogurt bowl. <sighs> Everything is so good. This, this, it is so good. Let's have our first bite together. I'm telling you guys, mixing, plain Greek yogurt, first of all, is disgusting. So if you mix it with like vanilla protein, then it just tastes delicious. Like as summer is ending, I know that peaches won't be in season that much longer. So having these like peach yogurt bowls, while I can, it's gonna be amazing, but you guys don't worry in the fall time. We have apple yogurt bowls, and we'll maybe try to figure out some like pumpkin spice yogurt bowl, but let's have our first bite together. This is so good. High in protein, high in healthy fats, high in seeds, fruit, everything. It's just so freaking good. You guys, it's so good. Please try. I'm gonna finish my work day. I'm probably gonna get off at like 5.30 today. So, Let's just finish up our day. It's just two hours. It's just two hours. It's just, just two hours. I can do this. <laughs> I will talk to you guys at the end of the day. I do have a fun unboxing to show you guys too. So stick around until the end, but let's finish this work day and eat our delicious mid-afternoon snack. logged off i'm trying to be better about logging off at a reasonable time and not like waiting until a certain time to log off i just like i had done my day i finished everything i needed to i was at a good stopping point there was one thing already that i got out the door earlier this morning so i just had myself a day and it was actually a really nice day and now it's 5 30. this is what i need to show you guys very quickly i have been on the hunt for just like a good quality affordable timeless shoulder bag and i don't mean like a luxury designer one i have that gucci fanny bag that you guys actually unboxed with me i got that as a reward to myself i think when i had reached like a thousand subscribers back in 2021 so that is something that i purchased and i love that thing so much i wear it all the time it's so nice for especially like my street style outfits i just think it's like the perfect thing and it's a fanny so i love that i have a louis neverfull bag it's like a tote bag and i just never really wear it that much but my mom got that for me i also have a brewery bucket bag i haven't worn that recently but i feel like you guys have seen it if you've watched me for a while that was also a gift from my mom when she went to the brewery outlets so those are like the three designer things that i have so i feel like honestly three is a lot especially at my age in my opinion like for me personally i don't want to stock up and get all of these luxury things before i'm like 30 because then i'm gonna reach 40 and feel like i have everything so i want to save like my next designer thing for way down the line so long story short i bought myself a jwpay 
shoulder bag because I feel like it looks very luxurious, but it doesn't have the price point. I believe this was $80 and I got it just straight from the website. They were doing a Labor Day sale, so I got it for 20% off. And I have been eyeing this bag for so long. I just need to show you guys. It's wrapped very nicely. This is the bag. Oh my God, it's stunning. It's so pretty. I love this bag. I feel like it's just very timeless. Like I feel like it looks like a vintage Chanel bag, which obviously it is not, but look at it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, and then let me put on like a sweater so that you guys can see the like fall vibe with this. It's so cute. This is a sweater that you guys are gonna see very shortly in a Princess Polly haul. This is one of the things that first of all, stripes are very in for the fall time and this beige sweater is just so cute. It has a collar, it's oversized, and this is all the like fall vibes. And then if you put this bag with it, oh my God, it's just so cute and like mature and feminine and $80. I feel like it's really good. I have been doing my best to do like cheap bags from like Amazon, Princess Polly even, but I find the ones that are like 50 and below still kind of give me that cheap feeling. So this one was 80, still less than 100, but it honestly feels like very, very sturdy, very high quality. And just like, look how freaking cute it is. I love the gold detailing. Look at it, it's so pretty. When you open it on the inside, it's just one big clasp closure. There's a space for your cards. And other than that, I just love the like rigidity of this bag. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And the best part is you can get this on Amazon. So I'm gonna link this in my Amazon storefront for you guys so you guys can always see it. But this is the bag and this is the vision. I just think this is so cute. Okay, well, that is everything for this work from home vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I haven't filmed a work from home day in the life in so long. And my work week last week just like went to shambles because I had tested positive for COVID and all that stuff. So I'm trying to ease back into it again. And I hope you guys enjoyed this full work from home day in my life. If you have any questions about anything or if I wasn't clear about anything during the day, comment below and I'm happy to answer. I answer all my comments always. I love talking to you guys in the comment section. And I think that's it. I'm just glad I had a good day and I'm feeling better. And just like, this is like all I needed today. Just like a good day. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video, but until then, miss you already.